am so excited to finally be here with you worshiping together. Welcome. Welcome if this is your hundredth time here or if this is your very first time. We are so glad that you're here. I am Margali Belazaire, one of the new training fellows with Church of the Larger Fellowship, coming to you from Connecticut, where I've been living for the past two years. I've accepted. I tend to be a restless soul, and Connecticut is where I am currently. I get to tell you what the theme for the month is, and it is persistence. So my colleagues and I will be worshiping with you throughout the month around that theme. To tell you a little bit more about myself, I am currently a seminarian at Midville Lombard Theological School. I've just entered my second year. This past year has been a journey of persistence. The most glaring example was over this past summer when I did my chaplain internship at one of the local hospitals in Hartford, Connecticut. First of all, I was the only chaplain intern who identified as non-Christian. And my peers had a difficult time imagining someone who wasn't Christian attending seminary. So it was hard enough navigating through that and just persisting and just hearing over and over how this doesn't make sense or how is this possible and having to continuously explain myself. But what was hardest for me was dealing with my anxiety around prayer. I didn't realize going in how much stress I would experience around prayer. I remember around those first few weeks, I was losing sleep over this. I was stressed out during meetings at um, the internship site. That first weekend, I remember when Friday came and I got home, I was so tired and the fatigue was not just emotional, I was physically tired. And I realized I needed to do some work around this if I was gonna survive chaplain internship. So I researched prayer on the internet. I went to the UA site. I just read books about it and just kinda looked at what was considered a good prayer or certain themes that worked really well in prayer and how people went about doing it. Also, I spoke with friends, with trusted friends who I felt were pretty comfortable around prayer. And I just kept working on it and working on it. It also helped when I realized that some of my colleagues were also stressing with regards to prayer. And that just kind of let me know wow, you're not in this to get alone, that there were other people in this with you. So as time went by and I was intentional about praying, when I was in a room with a patient, initially I would have them take the lead with prayer and I would join in at some point. But eventually I realized that the different things that the patient and I were talking about were ripe for the things to include in prayer. So if a patient would ask me to pray for, for them or with them, I would use whatever it was we talked about. If the uh, patient was concerned about their family dealing with the illness, if the concern was about their mortality, or, or simply that they didn't have funds to cover the hospital cost. Whatever it was that was stressful for them, I would use those in the prayer. And I realized toward the end, not only was I comfortable with prayer, that I would actually bring it up myself. And got really, really comfortable. So this is just one example where, for me, persistent really paid off. But that was just one example. Throughout my entire first year of seminary, 
I found myself in many situations where I wanted to give up. But instead of doing that, I worked on it. Sometimes it meant reaching out to others. And the good thing is, really, there were always people around willing to help. But the bottom line is, if I persisted with something, if I kept at it, if I kept putting in the work, I succeeded at the end. I'm not saying that that always happens. But more often than not, I would succeed at the end. And when I reflect on this even more, I realize that has been my entire spiritual journey. My history with regards to religion has been a fairly rocky one to the point where there were times when I didn't want to do religion at all. And I would call myself spiritual, but not religious. I realized though that I needed religion. And so I had to go look for it. I tried on different faith. My, I went to church with friends. I would look up information wherever I could. And then I stumbled onto Unitarian Universalism and I am currently in seminary and it just feels so right. It feels this is exactly where I need to be. This is exactly where I want to be. Now, had I given up years back, I wouldn't be here right now speaking with you. There is a quote by Thomas Edison, I believe, that says something along the lines that many people give up because they don't realize how close to success that they are. And truly, there is no way of knowing other than persisting. And I hope, as I continue on this journey, that I will remember when I encounter difficult situations, difficult times, that success might be right around the corner. And I am hoping the same for you as you and your own lives come across situations or circumstances that seems insurmountable where you feel like you want to give up. My prayer for you is that you will find the strength to persist because success might indeed be right around the corner. May it be so.